has been transported to the hospital at this point. So we're waiting for an update on that. As Johnston mentioned, we should be getting an update from police in just a few minutes as they head to both the hospital and to the scene here uh, to get formal details to be able to let us know what's going on. Yeah, we know they're on their way to Memorial Harmon and also Ben Top Hospital. Ben Caitlin mentioned right now you're looking live at the scene. You see one of the light flight helicopters there. Not sure if they are waiting to transport one of the other officers or just on standby just in case they are needed. We know already at least two officers have been flown there. Um, you do see police walking. You look closely. Hopefully our sky uh, box will zoom in in just a moment. But you can see if you look very, very closely, uh, it appears officers uh, transporting uh, someone on a stretcher, maybe behind the chopper now into the uh, helicopter, into the in, into the uh, life flight helicopter there. I don't know if that's exactly uh, what's happening, but we at least saw a stretcher being rolled out, kind of hard to see in this vantage point. Uh, but obviously you see the heavy police presence right there, lining that street right there along the 7800 block of Harding. Again, we know at least two officers at this point have already been taken by life flight to the hospital, so perhaps this could be a third officer that, that they are now taking uh, but we did hear from Joe Gamaldi, uh, the police officers union president, the police union president, that all the officers were either at the hospital or in route. So this perhaps could be what we're seeing right now, another officer being flown, uh, taken to the hospital. So if you are just joining us once again, you are looking near Harding Street in southeast Houston, where we are being told as many as five Houston police officers have been shot, responding to a scene where we are also told the suspect is down. Uh, you are looking on the side of your screen at the Highway 610, right nearby where the scene is happening, not far from where 610 meets 45 down in southeast Houston. And you are seeing a road closure there on the left side of that video. Uh, that is not far from where the scene is happening near Scott Street. So please be aware that commuting through this area, if you're coming up from Hobby Airport, you're going to be feeling the effects of this closure as they continue to respond to this scene. Please be patient. The one thing we want more than anything is for all those officers to be okay. So please give them the space and the time they need as emergency personnel to transport those uh, officers as they continue to monitor the scene. And we still see a heavy police presence on the ground as we're following this near Harding Street, uh, not far from the food market there. Uh, if you know the area in southeast Houston, it's heavily residential. So a lot of people being asked to stay inside of their homes. A lot of people commuting home from work who are being asked to please wait before going into their neighborhoods as they clear the roadways to allow emergency personnel to respond to, again, reports of five Houston police officers shot. This happening just within the past hour. Yeah, this all uh, happened, as you mentioned, Caitlin, that within the last hour, we first got word of this uh, during our 5 o'clock newscast that toward the start of our 5 o'clock newscast, the mayor tweeting out about 40 minutes ago that he had gotten word that three officers were shot moments later. We heard that number had been increased to five. If you look there on your screen, you're seeing another one of the light flight helicopters. Uh, the light flight now taking what we assume would be a third officer now. We've already seen two officers going. This could be a third officer being flown to Memorial Harmon Hospital. We understand the officers are being taken to both Memorial Harmon and Benton Hospital right there in the medical district, the medical center. Uh, so, again, we would assume by being taken by life flight that these injuries are serious enough that they need to be flown. Um, we have not gotten any confirmation on the officers, how they were doing, um, or exactly where they were struck. But we do know, again, five officers have been shot. So, again, you're looking at another one of the uh, life flight helicopters going to Memorial Harmon Hospital, where the police chief says they have a public information officer on standby, and hopefully we'll be able to get us some updates just as soon as they can provide us with some details about how those officers are doing. So take a look at the number of uh, flashing lights that you see as we zoom out here on this neighborhood in southeast Houston. Uh, that gives you a sense of just how wide this scene is, how many streets are blocked off. But Constable Alan Rose's office, with, uh, he's tweeting out that they are ready to help and assist. So we know that the Houston, uh, or the Harris County Sheriff's Office is right now on the way to assist with parameter control. So you're going to see deputies out there helping to keep people away from this area for now 